Think what you want about Musk, but one thing's for sure, he certainly knows how to weed out the talent. With Parag Agarwal gone, there's a new face in town. He's over six feet tall and he's into pro wrestling. In this video, get ready to meet Shuram Krishnan, the Indian American helping Musk run Twitter and the latest at the social media company. First up, one remains. Elon Musk recently got himself the keys to Twitter. Of course, everyone was expecting some changes with a new boss in the house, but major job layoffs? Now, that's a bit shocking for most of us. The Tesla owner easily earned himself the spot as the most hated personality when he fired hundreds of staff last week. Since then, Musk has been called out, insulted, and even has had a few cases filed against him, which was expected. When you're firing even the most senior executives, there's bound to be backlash. However, as Musk kicks out old employees, he has brought in a small team of friends and confidants, entrusting them with the responsibility of running Twitter. One of the people in Elon's inner circle happens to be Shriram Krishnan. He's a software engineer of Indian descent, and believe it or not, he's a former Twitter executive who left the platform last year. Next, let's meet the man of the hour. Shriram went on to work for the venture capital company Andreessen Horowitz after he quit Twitter. However, he recently sparked a lot of interest by tweeting that he was temporarily assisting Mr. Musk. The fact that Musk is keeping on Shuram after firing previous CEO Parag Agrawal and other executives of Indian descent hasn't gone unnoticed. While Shuram has landed the job, we are still determining his role at the company. BBC reached out to the man of the hour for a comment. However, he didn't say anything. In his words, he cannot assist with anything Twitter related at this time. But that doesn't mean we don't know anything about Shiram's past. We know a lot. Moving on, Mr. Krishnan's past with Musk. Back in 2021, in an interview with Marina Mogilko, who runs the YouTube channel Silicon Valley Girl, Shiram revealed that when he and his wife, Arthi Ramamurthy, first crossed paths with Mr. Musk, he helped Elon with something Twitter related. And that's when the trio built a relationship. After that, they crossed paths one more time, according to the New York Times, during a private tour of SpaceX's headquarters in California a couple of years ago. However, things got really serious when Musk appeared on a talk show on Clubhouse, which the couple happened to be hosting. Musk's appearance sparked a lot of buzz in the community, and why wouldn't it? The world's richest man had just shown up on an invitation-only app for an exclusive. The chat room quickly hit the upper limit of 5,000 listeners, as Musk gave his thoughts on aliens and other musings. Sherum was also awestruck as he tweeted, still processing a truly surreal evening after the event. However, what's interesting is that Mark Anderson, the co-founder of A16Z, has also spoken of the tech genius's competence. He said that Krishnan is perhaps the only person in the world to have served in senior product positions in our time's three biggest social platforms. Krishnan seems to be an all-rounder, and he's worked at Yahoo, Snap, Microsoft, and Facebook. Now, that's what we call a killer resume. Even more interesting is that his wife has a spectacular resume, with work experiences at Netflix and Facebook. Do we have a tech power couple on our hands here? Let's take a look at Krishnan's journey to Silicon Valley. Sherm comes from humble beginnings. He was born in a middle-income household in the southern Indian city of Chennai. He started his tech journey when his father brought home a computer which was considered a luxury in the late 1990s. In the same interview with Mogilko, the tech icon revealed that back then, it cost about $730 to $840 to buy a computer, which was a big deal for someone from a middle-income background. Even though Sharam bought a computer, he had no access to the internet because a dial-up connection was simply unaffordable and he pursued it. Young Shuram would buy coding books to teach himself the basics and practice every night. During his days of early online internet surfing, he met the love of his life. Now, what does Shuram think of Musk? Of course, we have established that the two tech geniuses know one another. But what does Shuram think of Musk? Well, to put it aptly, Shuram thinks Musk is great. Krishnan has repeatedly admired the billionaire, even calling him an iconic founder and an inspiration.
inspirational person. What's more, he has also supported Musk's vision for Twitter. In one tweet, he criticized practices like deplatforming on Twitter. He wrote, Having extrajudicial internet cops that lead to enforcement on your platform is the road to dystopian authoritarianism. Yeah, no wonder Musk hired him. On that note, there could also be another reason behind Musk's decision. Krishnan is also a cryptocurrency expert, on top of everything else. You all remember Musk's venture with Dogecoin, right? Yeah, well, connect the dots. Musk might want Krishnan to put his cryptocurrency expertise to good use. With all that said, there's high talk of Krishnan becoming the next CEO of Twitter, but more is needed at the moment. One thing we do know is that there's no way the conversation around this is dying anytime soon. Moving on, Twitter employee gives up his job to save colleagues' jobs. While Sherm Krishnan enjoys his new job security, some have to quit with this change at headquarters. Among our fallen soldiers, one stands out. Meet Andrew Hay, a former Twitter employee who quit his job to save others from the mass layoff. On November 4th, the ex-employee took to Twitter to explain his decision. It wasn't easy for starters, but the right one at the right time. Andrew left on his terms and hoped that in doing so, others might get an opportunity to keep their jobs. A noble sacrifice indeed, but a sad one as well, considering that Hay had been working at the microblogging site since 2016. Andrew so clearly loved his time there. As he wrote, witnessing you grow both individually and collectively as well as building some brilliant products used by millions of people has been one of the highlights of my career. And if you still want more proof of his kindness, how about the fact that he's offering to help Tweeps, aka ex-Twitter employees? He said his DMs are always open. He is a saint. As for his plans for his future, the man just wants some downtime with the fam. He will take a break from Twitter and the news cycle. And you know what? He's earned it. Now, was his sacrifice worth it? Well, not really. On November 4th, Musk became enemy number one as he laid off 7,500 Twitter employees worldwide. Employees at the company were informed of their fates via an unsigned email to their company accounts. But why did Musk do it? According to him, the massive firings were necessary to keep the company afloat. The company is losing more than $4 million. Still, that hardly justifies firing 50% of your workforce. Naturally, the people came for Musk with their pitchforks, but the tech icon had a defense ready. All the employees axed had been well compensated. They were paid a three-month pay. However, that still needs to reduce the heat for Musk. In the UK, the Prospect Union, which voices the concerns of technology workers, has brought up the matter to business secretary Grant Shapps because the firm acted unlawfully. According to Simon Deacon, a professor of law at the University of Cambridge, if 100 or more company employees are sacked within 90 days, the business secretary must be notified 45 days before the first dismissal. Now, Musk didn't give a notice, did he? Finally, it doesn't end there. Unfortunately, the workers who got to keep their jobs aren't having a good time either. One recording of a staff meeting has been making rounds on the internet, where the SpaceX owner is asking remote working employees to come back to the office. What happens if they don't? Well, they can kiss their job goodbye. That's what. The tech icon wants everyone working a double time. He has plans for a 40-hour work week, not to mention that he already had workers clocking in 12-hour shifts seven days a week since he took over. So maybe Sharam Krishnan is is not the real winner here, and maybe Andrew Hay is. Alright, that's a wrap for this video. What do you think of this new face of the company? Also, do you think Musk is doing right by his workers? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye now!